we'll let us see it again. I didn't get to see it. Yeah, let us have another look. Well, I'll let you have one more look, but watch closely. Let me hold it. No, me. I want me first. No, I asked first, didn't I, Israel? Maybe I'm not going to let anybody touch it. Listen, Israel, I caught me two green frogs. They're yours if you'll let me have it for one day. I'll give you three cinnamon sticks, an old Indian pipe, and a piece of blue bottle glass. I'll give you my spy glass. Ah, uh, it's busted. Who wants a busted spy glass? What you say, Israel? Two green frogs, they're good jumpers, and a piece of colored chalk. Gosh, Israel, you sure are lucky, you know that? Getting that new little cannon and the deerskin jacket. It isn't anything, really. I was hoping I'd get a rifle. I've been waiting a long time for one. Looks like I'll have to wait another whole year now before I get one. Dan, I'm sure he didn't mean that. Took you two months to make that jacket. And that cannon came all the way from Philadelphia special. He's a little excited, that's all. I'm afraid it's more than that, Becky. He's begun to think things come easy. It's high time he learned different. What do you mean? I mean, he's getting spoiled. I think he needs a lesson. He's just young, Dan. I think I'll take him with me tomorrow. He is, Rudolph. You want to come with me tomorrow? We could meet down by the creek. We could go looking for crawdads. I have more important things to do. That you have, Israel. I'm taking you with me tomorrow. While I run my line of traps up north. to guide you, Israel, you'll never lose your way. You paying attention to me, son? Yes, Pa. All right, Israel. Blaze the tree. got to make the blaze marks deeper. You have any idea why I'm telling you that, son? Well, when you blaze a trail, it'll not only lead you back home, it'll take you back to your traps. This old wilderness is hostile to trespassers. It'll do its best to cover your tracks. So if you don't make those blaze marks deeper, chances are you won't be able to see them when you need them. Understand me? Can I go play with him, Pa? No, I'm afraid not. Even if you didn't manage to lose yourselves, more than likely you'd run into his mother. You've got a ways to go before you can be out here by yourself.
Once they get a whiff of you, son, you don't eat. Yes, Pa. You're still not bracing yourself before you fire. I guess I forgot that too, Pa. Uh, you've learned quite a lot since we've been out. It'll come. Let's go. Tracks are these. They're bear tracks, son. Same ones I pointed out to you an hour ago. Well, study them, Israel. Notice the distance between the tracks. Give you some idea of his size. Yes, Pa. He's got a big stride. He might go as tall as eight feet. He was moving fast, too, you can tell, but... You're not paying any attention, son. Oh, yes, Pa. You gonna tell me any more? No, it's... Another step. Don't you remember, Israel? I told you on the trail you've got to keep your eyes open. This time it was a bear trap. Next time it could be something worse. I guess I forgot. Listen to me, son. Out here, you can't afford to forget. Every time you do, it costs you something. It could have been your leg. Next time, it could be your life. Understand me? What is it, boy? Nothing, Pa. Yes, it is. No, Pa. I know something's wrong. Something's bothering you. What is it? Nothing, Pa. I can't remember, that's all. I can't remember a thing you tell me. It's all my fault. You know so much, you know everything. Looks like if I listen forever, I'll never know as much as you. Couldn't have snared this rabbit any better if I'd have done it myself. I'll never forget the first rabbit I tried to snare. Came, ate the bait, and ran right off. You mean it didn't work? The second time, either. Second time didn't work, either? No, it was a long time before I was able to make a snare as good as the one you made today. When I was your age, I doubt if I could have told the difference between a Set of bear tracks or set of deer tracks? I can do that, Pa, can I? That you can, son. How'd you learn? Well, I tell you, I, I didn't at first. Trying to figure things out for myself. And I started to listen to trappers and mountain men. I listened and I learned. It took a long time. And I'm still learning. You are, Pa? About what? Oh, about a lot of things. 
See those stars up there? Now, they're kind of a map. They couldn't have been much older than you when a trapper told me that sailors use them to guide their ships at night. And he told me a lot of other things, too. Like what? Now, you see that big star up there? That one, I learned, will always lead you home. No matter where you are or how far away. This rabbit smells pretty good. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. How you been, Sam? Fine, mighty fine, Dad. I'm a bit tired right now. Near wore my feet to the bone on this last trip. How come you brought the boys so far out, Dad? Oh, he just had a birthday. He's 10 years old now, Sam. Figure it's time he learned a few things. Well, the reason I ask, I saw a few Shawnee about two or three miles back. This far north? Now, game's been kind of scarce. This was a small hunting party. Shawnee are mean anyhow. And when they're hungry, they're ten times as mean. You know that. You better get the boy back to Boonesboro. I think maybe you're right, Sam. Would you like to come along with us? No, I got a couple of traps to check out on further down. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you. My, my. I just don't believe it. Sure grown up, hasn't he, Dan? You know something, boy? Last time I saw you, you didn't even come up to my knee. Well, so your pa's gonna make a man out of you, huh? Well, you listen to him good, you hear? Because there ain't no finer trapper than your pa. So you give him good mind, understand? Your pa tells me you're 10 years old now, that right? I got something for you. Let's see here. There you are. Make yourself a coonskin cap out of that. All right? Catch up with you, Dan. son. Sam would understand that.
check it out, Pa? Now you've got a loose tooth. Do you want me to help you over to that tree? No, I just pump the poison into me. Get me some of that wet clay. Okay, Pa. Poison into me. Like starting to swell. Gotta move quickly, Israel. Shawnee's probably heard the shot. could get awful sick when a rattler bites him. How sick, Pa? Well, sometimes he gets to where he doesn't know what he's hearing or seeing. Sometimes when he talks, it doesn't make much sense. Can he get that sick, Pa? I can't tell, Israel. There's a chance I might make it, but it's a slim chance. It could be that it could get to where I won't even know you. When that happens, you've got to go on by yourself. No, Pa. You've got to, Israel. Now, come on, son. We've got a long ways to go.
watches. Are you hungry? Take your knife and cut one of those saplings about four feet long, about as thick as my thumb. Okay, Pa. the sun. Your shadow will be back of you. The fish won't know you're there. Can't risk it. Shawnee might see the smoke. You mean we're gonna eat it raw? I'm not hungry, Pa. You better eat it, Israel. When you'll get another chance. No, thank you, Pa. Eat it. here for the night, Israel. Boy. 
Don't fire this unless you have to, sir. Maybe other Indians are. Israel. How, how do you feel, Pa? Help me up, Israel. Where do you think we have to go? Quite a ways. We'll make it. Mm-hmm. 
Trees. Trees. Please, Pa. You're losing time. This will, you got to go. Please, Pa. You've got to try. You've got to try. Trees. Follow the trees, that's all. They'll lead you. They would. Please, Pa.
back as soon as I can, Pa. I gotta get help. We'll get you help.
Since an Addison, a search party went out on the trail, you blazed. They found him right where you left him, all covered up. Is he all right? He will be in time. You did a wonderful thing, Israel. A very brave thing. You saved your father's life. I'm proud of you. So very proud. So very proud of him. Can I see him now? 